Hi, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About It, where we explore common mental health topics and answer questions. I'm Dr. Whitley Lassen, and I'm so excited to be joined today by Dr. Elizabeth McMahon. Dr. McMahon is a licensed clinical psychologist, an anxiety expert, and the author of the book, Overcoming Anxiety and Panic Interactive Guide. Welcome, Dr. McMahon. Thank you, Dr. Lassen. Thank you for having me. Today, we're going to talk about what it is like to live with OCD. In our previous video, we talked about what OCD is. So if you want to learn more about OCD, be sure to watch that video. Dr. McMahon, what are some important things to understand about what it's like to live with OCD? Well, I think one of the most important things to understand is that it's not your fault. You're not crazy. This has nothing to do with intelligence or your strength of will. People with OCD often recognize that their actions and their thoughts are unrealistic, that they're excessive, that they're problematic. We don't have any control over the thoughts that come into our minds, particularly when you have an OCD brain. And with those upsetting thoughts coming to your mind that you don't want but can't stop, it can be very hard not to carry out the compulsive actions that you feel will help fight the thoughts or prevent something horrible from happening. If you have OCD, you may feel like the only way that you can feel better is to carry out the compulsions. And these compulsive behaviors are not pleasurable or rewarding. It's not like choosing to have a chocolate bar. At best, carrying out the compulsions just gives a sense of relief that's temporary, that's momentary. And then the obsessive thought returns and the cycle starts again. What are the signs of OCD? Well, really, The sign of OCD is that these thoughts and these behaviors interfere with your functioning. They cause significant distress, and they often can take an hour or more every day. OCD interferes with people's lives. How does OCD impact someone's self-esteem? Oftentimes, people with OCD feel ashamed or embarrassed or they may feel weak or out of control. They may not understand why they have these thoughts and why they feel like they have to carry out these actions. Can it have an impact on people's relationships? It certainly can. The person with OCD may be spending hours on their compulsive actions. They may not want to do things or go places They may want friends and family to agree to carry out the same compulsive actions, to clean in the same way, or to check the same number of times, or to keep things ordered in the same rigid, excessive way. If you spend hours cleaning the kitchen after every meal, you're not going to have a whole lot of time to enjoy life. When someone's dealing with OCD, Dr. McMahon, why is it not helpful? to tell them to snap out of it um, or just stop. If you saw the previous video, you may remember the scan of the brain that shows that certain areas of the brain are overactive in OCD. People with OCD do not choose to have these areas of the brain more active than usual. They don't choose to have these horrifying, upsetting, distressing, obsessive thoughts come into their mind. They don't choose the distress. And so telling them to just get over it or just snap out of it, it almost feels like saying to someone, don't have a broken bone. The brain is working the way it is. And stopping compulsions is hard and scary because it feels like taking a terrible risk. So it helps to be empathic about the level of fear and distress that they're having. But it also helps to be encouraging because here's the really important good news. The brain can change with effective treatment. Those overactive areas of the brain that cause so much distress and that are creating these thoughts can be changed. 
the most powerful and effective treatment is a specific cognitive behavioral therapy called exposure and response prevention that we'll talk about in detail in our next video. You want to support the person that you care about with OCD. You want to support them in their fight against the OCD. Thank you, Dr. McMahon, for talking to us today about what it's like to live with OCD. I'm so glad to hear that there is treatment that works and is effective for OCD. If you want to learn more about treatment for OCD, be sure to subscribe to be notified of our next video. For more resources on OCD, visit the International OCD Foundation Find Help website or check out these books, Overcoming Unwanted Intrusive Thoughts, Stop Obsessing, and The OCD Workbook. For more resources from Dr. McMahon on anxiety disorders, visit her website. Be sure to subscribe, follow us on social media, and visit our website for more information about our mental health ally certification and our CBT courses for mental health providers. Leave us comments and questions and suggestions on what you'd like to learn more about. Dr. McMahon, thank you so much for talking to us about OCD today. Thank you, Dr. Lassen. It was my pleasure.